All right, Jeffrey, so this is Nadia, and Nadia has agreed to donate her hair for Wings for Kids. So, Nadia, uh, thank you so much. Uh, super excited. She has beautiful, beautiful hair. Incredible hair. So, and virgin. Uh, absolutely. What you uh, said to me before is very important. Yes. The hair has to uh, be virgin, not chemically treated. Correct. So it can be actually be used in a hair piece because if it has been treated by any means, then it swells up and it can't be hand sewn strand by strand. Wow. Ah. Big, big difference. Mm -hmm. All right, so take me through the sectioning. That's the first part. Good. Sections most important. Why don't we make the section right down the center to the crown, from the front hairline to the crown? Okay. I will kind of let it go into its natural part, mm -hmm. and uh, see where it splits. So that's a really nice place. That's pretty much where it's our hair right splits. On. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Then the next part of it, we'll take it from the crown down to the top of the ear. So that hair is not pulled in the back and given a ponytail and lost a lot of good quality hair. You were going to measure the actual. Distance. Exactly. So we're going to take our hair. measuring. I'm going to put that right there where your finger's at. Come down to that 12 inch mark and trying to give it all the ability to get strong ends. So we don't want frail ends or flyaway okay. ends. So that's the 12 inch mark right where your hand is. All right. And then uh, we'll we're take going to section this. I mean, we're going to secure it. Yes, right. With we're the going tie. To take tie. Little Ziploc ties. Right. I'll put this in here. There All right. Go. And so we'll take our measuring tool again, tape measure, come down to 12 inches, with a little give of those flyout ends, and you're right there. Now we can put okay. that good tight. So now pot, tighten this. Tight as you can. A real important point because that's where the hair can start to come loose in the beginning right. of the process, the harvest. Okay, and then cut this off, mm -hmm. right? Take that off. Good. All right, so that's our first uh, section. Mm -hmm. Now what we want to do is we want to take and put bands on this every two inches, securing it from getting all tossed up. So we should do this before we move to the next section. Correct. All right, great. And uh, you recommend that I use the elastic ba bands, right? These, Louise, are the very best. They hold, they're secure, and when we get the hair at Weeks for Kids, it's ready to be processed and go to the factory. Excellent. And does it matter how many times I go around this? As long as it's taut. As long as okay. it's taut and not loose, because if it moves, then of course you're going to have inversion of cuticle. That's where hair no longer is remy, which means the hair is going in one direction, right. and you have a tangle. Is that perfect. far enough? Perfect. All right, good. I would have expected to be that perfect. Well, Look just you know, just yeah. checking, making mm -hmm. sure. So the next one, a couple of inches farther yes, down. Exactly. And as we should say, the hair has got to be clean and dry. If the hair has any moisture in it whatsoever, then it has to be laid out to dry because it'll actually get a mold in it when it's being traveled from you know, the salon to Weeks for Kids organization. So keeping the hair dry is very important. Very important. It's got um, to be dry, mm -hmm. and, uh, not, in any, not even damp. Not even damp. They can use product on it to, you know, to prepare the cut, shampoo, conditioner, and they can go through that whole process, but they don't want any moisture in the hair when they're ready to pack it. Okay. And one more down here? One more. Okay. So this is the part that, uh, you know, when you were telling me that 40% of the uh, hair doesn't get utilized, this mm -hmm. is the part where a lot of times, uh, exactly. if, it's not, if it's not properly uh, bound, secured and bound. Secured. Uh, a lot of people even will clip their hair off. I mean, they really give from the heart and from the head, but they'll clip it and the hair will fall to the floor and, and they, they pick it up it. and they and put it in a bag. That's a waste that's right. right there. So this is that's good? That's beautiful. That's beautiful. All right, okay. so next section. Right down the center of the back of the head. All right. Separating the head and the back, two parts. So Left all and the way right. down to the nape. Mm -hmm. And again, we're going to go through the same process now. As, uh, the goal now is just to make sure that we're measuring the, the 12 inches, right? Correct, correct. There you go, there's 12 inches. Okay, so somewhere about here. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I want to get this right, you know? Well, well I'll tell you what, you're going you're gonna to change our whole complexion of wigs for kids because this will change the ability of the hair, the volumes of hair that we have and will have because of the Aquash family coming in with it done right and it'll all be able to be used. Great. So let's measure it again yep. just to make sure. Mm -hmm. 
Right there. So I'm on it. Mm -hmm. All right. So now make it tight. Tight. And cut that off. And cut that off. And to the viewing audience, especially if you're not strong, get somebody strong. It's really got to be tight at that bound because that's a very, very important part of it. And now start putting my uh, Our bands. Every couple of inches every of band. Couple inches. Right. And, go and a as few you can times. see, it's not that very difficult, but it's doing it right that makes the world of difference whether hair can be used and harvested correctly. The other thing with the sectioning that you're showing is the fact that if you pull that hair all back and cut the ponytail off in the back and she's going to have a shorter side, we've lost also those two, three inches that are so valuable for us right. when we're trying to provide a little girl with that kind of length of hair. Yeah, I didn't know that it was going to be quite so complex. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, this is easy to do, but also easy to not do correctly. Correctly. Exactly. And, uh, so uh, technically, this is something that anyone, any hairdresser can uh, mm -hmm. to learn to do properly. It's, uh, you're just trying to get the message out That's right. to make sure. And you know, a lot of people come running in and Nadia comes in and says, this is her third time of giving hair. And she just runs in the salon, cut my hair, and they want to do a good, good deed, so to say, so they cut her hair without this knowledge. Without this knowledge. And then it's wasted. It's effort. wasted at that point. Something like this, where there's uh, three, four inches left, would I you recommend another putting another one? Correct. 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 Good point. Very good point. The cuticle on here, as you well know, is like Velcro, and you don't want it to be traveling miles and hundreds and thousands of miles to go through the process of turning inside out and becoming a problem. So I'm assuming now we just take the same pattern on the opposite Near side. Mirror image, yes. So I'm right. just going to split from the crown mm -hmm. right to the uh, top of the ear. Right to the top of the ear. Okay, so we have the four ponytails, and again, what Jeffrey asked me to do was to part it down the center and then part it from ear to ear. Correct. And the parting is not, it's not how perfect the parting is. Exactly. What you're trying to do is get the maximum amount of hair that's out right. of any one person that's Divide donating the their hair. Up. And then uh, 12 inches measured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We place uh, these little ties, which by the way, are the, you know, the kind of little zip, uh, zip lock ties that you just kind of pull through. And as you pull them, they, they lock. And, that's uh, and then the rest is the, all created uh, with the rubber bands, mm -hmm. right? That's exactly right. All right, great, let's cut the ponytails. Well, because hair is not equal in thickness and shears are not equal in sharpness, we want to slide our shear between the ponytail above the tie and cut it in half and then cut the other half evenly so we have a nice even cut. The most important part of shipping is that when you're done with the ponytails, they need to be wrapped in tissue paper. Now combine the ponytails and wrap them in tissue paper. Once you've rolled the tissue paper and the ponytails together, turn both ends in, fold it in half, and now place it into the Ziploc bag. 